Hello, you might have noticed this Polkadot Fellowship call hosted on the Kusamarian channel on Tuesday. Let's explore what actually is Polkadot Fellowship, what are its goals and also dive into the most interesting topics from this call. The Polkadot Fellowship is an on-chain membership body of Polkadot Core developers, so experts on Substrate, XCM and other Polkadot Core technology. The Fellowship has replaced the technical committee in the first version of governance, so the Fellowship took over from Parity as the initial developer of Polkadot and Substrate. The Fellowship has some members from Parity, there are also devs from Parachain teams and the main goal of the Fellowship is to ensure maintenance and mainly continued development of Polkadot and Substrate as decay in a decentralized way by proposing runtime upgrades to Polkadot protocol. So it's not parity anymore looking after Polkadot, now it's the chain itself hosting collective of Polkadot core devs that looks after Polkadot. Each fellowship member has a rank within the fellowship which represents the degree of their expertise and knowledge about Polkadot and Kusama core protocols. The fellowship resides on the common good parachain collectives, so you can think about the fellowship as an organized on-chain group of Polkadot experts with their own internal agenda and governance for membership management. Currently there is 51 members, so this is just very early days for the Polkadot fellowship, in the future fellowship could have thousands of members. On Tuesday, the Polkadot community had a special opportunity to watch the first live stream call of the Polkadot Fellowship. The call gave the community opportunity to watch Fellowship members discussing some big upcoming Polkadot upgrades. So here are the major discussed topics that should be of interest to the community. Yes, apparently asynchronous backing broke Polkadot's testnet Rococo. Async backing gave Rococo an opportunity to shine, as that's what testnets are here for, to get broken and properly battle test new technology before deployment on Kusama and Polkadot. But no need to worry, as Rococo has already been fixed and async backing is still slated to go live on Kusama very soon, with the next runtime upgrade release by mid-November. Now core time rentals integration, instantaneous core time aka on demand core time is already running on testnet Rococo and bulk core time will go live on Rococo by the end of the year, meaning parachains will be able to order their bulk cores already beginning next year. So for the time being a slot auctions model will still be supported but once bulk core time is running there will be no new auctions. All dot tokens that parachain teams will pay for bulk and instantaneous core time will be a revenue for Polkadot network and that's a big shift as the current auctions model doesn't bring any revenue to Polkadot treasury as dot tokens are not actually paid but only locked for two years. Another interesting discussion was about the potential new media collective on the collective parachain for ambassadors, content creators and community members organizing events. Now the purpose of these various on-chain collectives is to connect and organize a group of people with the same focus and expertise on chain so that they can intensify and step up their effort to benefit the Polkadot ecosystem and maybe even be incentivized for that. So in the case of Media Collective, perhaps some recognized ecosystem content creators and Polkadot ambassadors would be eligible to become initial members, so it's quite possible Media Collective will be established on Collective Parachin soon, even Gavin Wood recently disclosed Ambassadors Collective is coming. But in principle there can be many such bodies relating to all sorts of things to do with Polkadot. There could be a body for the Polkadot ambassadors, in fact, I think that's actually being launched quite soon. Uh, there can be a body for ecosystem technical knowledge. There can be a body for legal knowledge, like kind of paralegal knowledge. One can imagine all sorts of meritocratic bodies that Polkadot can basically incentivize to exist within the Polkadot ecosystem. Also, the latest info on Beefy upgrade was shared. Beefy protocol will allow secure, trustless bridging to Ethereum through the snow bridge, which could bring inflow of fresh liquidity to Polkadot. As always, Beefy will first go live on Kusama around mid-November with the next runtime upgrade, shortly after that followed by the snow bridge going live on Kusama. And according to this post, there is a possibility that Beefy will be activated on Polkadot before December, which would mean Polkadot Ethereum Bridge could go live before the end of this year, and that would be truly fantastic. 
Just imagine going into next year with a Polkarot Ethereum bridge launched and running, async backing deployed on Polkarot most likely in quarter 1 and bulk core time also being fully available at the latest by quarter 1. So this fellowship call gave us updates on major upcoming upgrades, all credit to the Kusamarian for hosting the call, let's hope these fellowship calls will continue being streamed as it provides the community an opportunity to get closer to the devs community and closely witness all the progress that's being constantly made in Polkarot. Then it becomes so easy to follow the devs and ignore the noise that's being sometimes spread about Polkarot on socials. By the way, amazing answer to this question by Biel Laboon from Web3 Foundation. You can read it here. It's definitely worth reading. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.